The final stage of the project is the debriefing at which members of the implementing team, the Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research and the Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana meet representatives of stakeholders and the communities to inform them of the outcome of the project. The Japanese embassy, sponsors of the project, is represented by We Arrive, third secretary of the embassy. Ms. Arai expressed her satisfaction at the project and said that the project was of great interest to her government because of its novelty. She was hopeful that the project will further strengthen the already cordial relationship between her country and Ghana. Results of the impact assessment exercise carried out to measure the level of success or otherwise of the project was released at the meeting. These results will determine the future direction of the project. Generally, the figures indicated that the level of awareness of HIV AIDS and STDs had greatly improved. This was not surprising because 79% of respondents had attended either the evening rallies or the outreach clinics. Of this figure, 98% had knowledge about HIV AIDS and STDs in terms of transmission, while 66% were aware of preventive measures against HIV AIDS. But the most startling results of all was the dramatic increase in condom sales. The sale of condoms in the project area had risen to a whooping 141% compared to sales figures of the previous year. No doubt, all present were encouraged by the level of awareness of HIV AIDS that had been created by the project and speaker after speaker stressed the need to continue the fight against the disease. The community members were advised to spread the message to those who had missed the program. The greatest concern of representatives of the communities was about the future of the project. And I am pleading that it shouldn't end here. Rather, DPAG, in collaboration with Gomuji, should again press on with the uh, government of Japan to see if they can still further sponsor this project in the desert by, so that uh, they can add more of the communities to the previous ten that they have already worked in. That is my Although results of the impact assessment exercise were quite impressive, Dr. Joanna Nekwe Tete, Executive Director of the Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana, expressed concern about the relatively low number of people who actually presented themselves for voluntary testing and counseling. What are the next steps after this project? Professor David Oforiege, Director of the Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research.
from the community itself. And hopefully, if they are able to do this, they will be able to train all people. So when the fans and things are available, we have people in the community who will help us make sure that the messages are properly delivered and we reach the desired result. And in this regard, I would again like to stress 